Welcome to Let's Cook TV. Today is a very special day. Why? Because it's Lita's birthday, and I've made this very special gift for her. Oh, here she comes right now. Uh, hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Happy birthday. <gasps> oh, look at it. You remember my birthday. Of course I did. What is it? Well, just open it and see. Open it, open it. <gasps> oh, look at those chocolate-coated strawberries. I hope you love them. Did you do it by yourself? Of course I did. Ah, uh, are you sure? I am very sure. <laughs> well, actually, later in the program, I'm going to show you how to make your own mm. chocolate-covered strawberries in the cook-it-yourself menu. Oh, so you're going to teach me about this. It's so exciting. Yes, and not only is that, they're very easy. Remember my motto? Fast, easy, and delicious. Absolutely. And also, as a part of your special day, we have a very special dish for you today that I'm going to cook Want to know what it is? So what is it? Well, you and all the pasta lovers out there are going to go crazy over this dish. But you're going to have to find out shortly. Let's go. I really love angel hair pasta. This is so light, it goes perfect with light sauces and with seafood. Ah, I see. The smell is getting good. All right, I think we're done here. Uh -huh. So we just need to drain the pasta. If you could do that for me, be very sure. careful though because it's very hot. Okay. Yeah, you can smell it. And look mm. at the beautiful colors as well. You got the yeah. red from the chili. The red's really coming out. You have the green from the basil okay. leaves. And, and the it smell smells is really, really good. good. Guys, today's menu is very hot and spicy. It's spaghetti with dried chili and bacon. And it's one of my favorite dishes. Well, excellent. Well, let's get started and look at some of the ingredients. So we're starting with some capellini or angel hair pasta. We have some bacon, dried chili, fresh garlic, some grated Parmesan cheese, some fresh basil leaves as well, extra virgin olive oil, a little bit of salt and pepper. And that's mm. how we're going to get started. Okay. So first thing you need to do is have a big pot of boiling water on there. Now we've already started going this, you can see. Very hot, already started. Be very careful around boiling water because it's very hot. We're going to just put in a little of the angel hair pasta in first, just like that. Now you're going to want to add in a little bit of salt as well because it'll help flavor the pasta as well as help the boiling process, just a little. How long does it take for spaghetti to properly cook? Well, that's the great thing about angel hell pasta or capellini. Because it's so thin, it only takes about three minutes. And we're going to cook it until we call al dente. Mm -hmm. Now that in Italian means to the tooth. I really love angel hair pasta. And I noticed something that many Italian dishes, they use this kind of pasta. Why is that? Well, that's because it's, because it's so light, it goes perfect with light sauces and with seafood. Ah, I see. The smell is getting good. All right, I think we're done here. Uh -huh. So we just need to drain the pasta. If you could do that for me, be very sure. careful though because it's very hot. Okay. Okay, here you go. Perfect. All right, well now the next part is to be put together our garlic and the bacon and the chili leaves. So first thing we need to do is get a pot ready, get a, a pan ready, nice and hot. We're going to fry our, our bacon and the garlic in there first, but okay. we actually need to cut the garlic. And uh, I'll kind of show you how to do it. So what you want to do is make sure, because not everyone likes huge chunks of garlic in, in their spaghetti, you want to make them nice thinly sliced, but big enough so people can pick them out if they don't want to eat them. Always be careful with a knife. A sharp knife is a lot safer than a dull knife. And you're just going to cut across very along the long end of the garlic. So you get these nice big thin wafers of garlic here. 
What this is gonna do, it's gonna make it very delicious. All that aroma, all that flavor in the garlic is gonna come out. And probably about two cloves of garlic will be enough for, for this dish. Mm. You can use less, you can use more. But I'm a garlic lover. And actually garlic- I do too. Yeah, and garlic is also very healthy for you. So we're just gonna cut this. And there we have our garlic ready. Now the pan, I believe, is hot. We just need to add in a little of the olive oil. Oh, so what's the difference between extra virgin olive oil and olive oil? You know, that's an excellent question. Extra virgin oil is what we call first press. So that's the lightest, that's the, the most delicate flavor. If you get one that's a third or a fourth press, it'll be much darker, mm -hmm. much more robust in flavor. Nice. So now we just want to add in some of our garlic. You can see there going away. And some of our uh, chopped bacon in here as well. And the idea here is we just want to brown it, right? We just want to crisp up some of the bacon here and get it going. Mm. Give it a stir. Just be careful not to burn the garlic because that's a really bad flavor. Okay. It smells good. Yeah, you can smell it already, right? Yeah. This dish is really easy to make, but it comes out so well, people will think you're a master chef. Yes, <laughs> they will. It should only take about a minute or two to be able to get crisp up this bacon and put some nice golden color on that garlic as well. Aren't you gonna add salt? Well, actually, there's enough salt in the bacon, but ah. you can always add more at the end if you'd like. I That's a very good question. There, you can see. Bacon become really crisp, got that nice golden color to the garlic. You can smell the aroma coming from there as well. All right, I think we're, we're ready to add our pasta. So the next part is we're gonna add the pasta, which you just did, into okay. the pot. Gonna turn down the heat a little, we're gonna wanna cook the pasta more. Okay. There we go. Give it a good stir. We wanna make sure all that wonderful oil coats the pasta so it doesn't stick together. And at this point, can you hand me some of the, the chili? Chili. Okay. I'm gonna turn this off. We're gonna add a little bit of the chili. Now, depending on whether you like it spicy or super spicy, well, you can add more or less. And then we need some fresh basil leaves as well. Fresh basil leaves, all right. Don't forget to leave a little extra so we can have some garnish on there. Okay. Yeah, you can smell it. And look mm. at the beautiful colors as well. You got the yeah. red from the chili, the red's really coming out. You have the green from the basil okay. leaves. And, and the smell, smell is really, really good. good. Mouth I wish you guys at home could smell this because it's really good. Yes. <laughs> And uh, now, you want to help me uh, plate this up and put the garnish on it? Okay. All right, now we're going to put it onto our plate as well, so. Give it a little twist at the end, yeah. Fill it up the center. Bacon and peppers on the top there. Wow, look at that. Mmm. And I'll put this in the middle. Kind of clean this up a little, yeah? Okay. Let's use my, my spatula here. There we go. And what there about we black have, pepper? Yeah, a little bit of black pepper on the top as well to finish it off. And last but not least, a little bit of grated Parmesan cheese. Mm. You can smell it. Yes. Look at that. And there we have it. Super, super spicy and super delicious capellini with dry chili and bacon. Now let me taste it. Absolutely, it is your birthday. Thank you. <laughs> I think you're gonna have to eat the whole thing. Yeah, I will. Sorry for all you guys there uh, at home. If you could just smell this and taste it, I'm sure that you'd be enjoying it as much as we are. And this is so good. 
Now don't go away because we still have coming up a cook it yourself chocolate covered strawberries. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the Cook It Yourself or CIY menu. And as promised, today we are making chocolate covered strawberries. Yay! Now it's very simple, just a few ingredients today to look at. We have some fresh strawberries, we mm -hmm. have some chocolate chips, we have both dark chocolate and white mm -hmm. chocolate, also some little bit of vegetable oil, and some chopped nuts, which we'll use later for decoration. Okay. Yeah, very good, huh? Mmm. Very juicy and fresh. And very healthy. Now, to get started, it's real easy. Traditionally, when we're going to make melted chocolate, you'd use a double boiler. But to show you how you can do it at home, we're going to show you this really simple improvisation. So, what you need is a nice uh, pot of oil on the simmer, not too hot. Mm -hmm. You can use a, a metal or a glass bowl. And we're going to use this to actually melt the chocolate chips. Why can't we just melt the chocolate in the pot directly? That's an excellent question. You never want to melt chocolate directly on heat because it'll end up burning it. By using what we call a double boiling, it's actually the steam from the water which is heating the chocolate and melting it smoothly and evenly. Oh, that's why my chocolate burned. One time I used to melt the chocolate in the pot directly. I think everyone's made that mistake, but you only need to make it once. Now to start yeah. off, what we're going to do is we're going to add in our chocolate chips. So today, like we said, I'm using dark chocolate chips. You can use milk, you can use white chocolate, but these happen to be some of my favorite. Dark chocolate, fair enough. I love it too. Excellent. Well, we're just going to add this to our bowl. So okay. we're going to add all of them in. Chocolate chips are actually perfect because they're small, they melt very quickly. Mm -hmm. so add this to our bowl. And then we're going to add just about a, about a tablespoon or two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Does the vegetable oil make the taste better? Not really. What it does is it actually gives that, the chocolate that beautiful shine after we dip the strawberries. Uh, Nothing about flavor. So it's the vegetable oil is to make the chocolate shine and bright like a diamond. Yeah, exactly. I'll tell you what, you want to help me stir this? Sure. Excellent. There you go. Okay, thank you. Now you want to be very careful, right? You can't walk away at this step because if you do, your chocolate for sure is going to burn. Oh, so this process needs a lot of patience, isn't it? Yes, it does, but the payoff is really good. Oh, it's melting. Yeah, exactly. That's so fast. And you see how, yeah, it's very fast, but you notice how smoothly and evenly it is. Mm. You just have to keep on stirring. You'll see it all come together. Melting. Oh, it's coming together perfectly. You can see that shine that the chocolate's taken on. That's because of the vegetable oil. Yeah, shining bright like a diamond. It's like from the Renaissance. Oh, I think that chocolate is perfectly melted. So right, we're ready to uh, move on to the next stage. You can okay. go ahead and turn the stove off. And here, okay. let me switch with you. Okay. There we go. Here you go. Perfect. So we're going to take this out. You can save the spoon for a little later for a little bit of snack, some ice cream. So we're going to take it off the stove, nice and melted. We're going to kind of keep it on the water here so it stays nice and warm. Here comes the fun part. Dipping time! Dipping time, exactly. Now, what we're going to need is obviously we're going to need some wooden skewers to help us there. And this little invention, this is going to really help you guys out. If you have a strainer or a colander at home, one of these, what you can do is put it on top of a plate with one of these paper towels so the skewers don't mm -hmm. slip around on the plate and you turn it upside down. And now you have the perfect tray for all your chocolate covered strawberries, which you can just carry over and put into the refrigerator. Brilliant idea. All right, so to start off, what we need is 
We'll take one wooden skewer and we'll take one of these strawberries, it looks like a nice one. And you wanna poke it right where the stem comes out at the top of the strawberry. Just make sure you don't poke in too far. So now that we have it, eh? Yes. Now what you wanna do is about, about two thirds of the strawberry, we're gonna coat it with the chocolate. So just give a nice little turn in the chocolate there. Get a little twist at the end. Ah, voila. And wow, gonna, it's beautiful. I'm gonna put it right in the top there. It looks really easy and fun. Let me try it. Absolutely, give it a go. I want the big one. <laughs> is this enough? I think so. Okay, and I might get into it. No, that's, that's okay. Did it? What do you think? I think that's a great first try. Thank you. <laughs> All right, now another thing you can do here is if you want to add a little more decoration, we're going to need our chopped nuts for this. So we have some chopped almonds. We also have some of these sprinkles here. I'm going to take another strawberry. Okay. Put the skewer in there. And just like we did before, we're going to roll it around in the chocolate. Mm. Kind of coat it on the outside. And before we put it in there, we're going to take it and we're going to roll it in the nuts. Nice. And there we go. You can see that. All those wonderful nuts on there. And as the chocolate hardens, the nuts will stick perfectly. Let's put that right back in our little tray. You want to try that one? Yes, I want to try with this. Oh, with the sprinkles, absolutely. Yes. Okay, now let me do it with the small one. Get on the top. Not too deep, and then... Nope, that's fine. The great thing about making mistakes when you're dipping them is you can eat them right away so no one knows. <laughs> now if you're feeling a little more brave and you don't want to just roll in some decoration, you can actually do some painting. Okay. You feel up to it? Of course I am. Well now I'm going to show you a really cool trick, that we, but you're going to need a piping or pastry bag, mm -hmm. or, or we also call it a decoration bag. So. I actually prepared some before and I filled it with some melted white chocolate. You go. Now as you can see a piping bag has got this nice little detail tip on the on the end and you can see it's actually dripping the white chocolate out right now so it's it's ready to go. What we're going to need is we actually have some strawberries that are covered in chocolate already and we're going to put some really cool decorations on them. So watch me transform some of these into little rugby balls. That's a great first try. Now what Thank you're going to do you. is after this, we're going to let the strawberries set for about five minutes at room temperature. Then we're going to put them in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes more and then we'll be done. We'll be able to show you our masterpieces. So okay. don't go away. We're going to do a few more and be right back. Now let's try another one. Welcome back to the show. We're thrilled to show you our masterpieces of art. Oh wow, those came out even better than I thought. See, after we put the chocolate covered strawberries in the fridge for 15 minutes, it will look like this. Oh, they are so delicious looking. I think we better try some. Yes, I'll try with this one. I'm gonna have one of these. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> The strawberry tastes much better with the chocolate. Perfect combination. Absolutely perfect combination. Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry you guys, you can't enjoy this moment with us, but make sure you make them at home so you can. Right now, it's time for three words a day. Well, 
Welcome back to the show with me, Lita, and three words a day. Yes, we're going to pick three words from today's show, which are related to cooking. Now, the first word is al dente. This refers to the desired texture of cooked pasta. In Italian, it literally means to the tooth. In other words, the word al dente is used to describe the pasta that is cooked to be firm to the bite but not soft. Exactly. Well, that's the great thing about Angel Hell Pasta or Capellini. Because it's so thin, it only takes about three minutes, and we're going to cook it until we call al dente.、Mm -hmm. Now, that in Italian means to the tooth. Now, the second word is double boiler. Now, this is traditionally a double walled pot where the heat will never exceed the maximum boiling point of water. Many recipes require the use of a double boiler to melt chocolate and to heat the delicate sauces without scorching them. By using what we call a double boiler, it's actually the steam from the water which is heating the chocolate and melting it smoothly and evenly. And the last one is looking at a pastry bag, or otherwise known as a decorating bag or piping bag. This is a cone or triangular shape. Handheld bag made of cloth, plastic, or even paper. Yes, is it ideal for the decorating cookies, cupcakes, pastries, and even chocolate-covered strawberries? Yes. Well, now I'm going to show you a really cool trick. But, we, but you're going to need a piping or pastry bag, or,、mm -hmm. or we also call a decoration bag. Now, as you can see, a piping bag has got this nice little detail tip on the on the end. So as you can see, cooking international dishes is easy, it's fun, and it's delicious. And for those of you out there who didn't see our show today, don't worry. You can easily view it from our official website, which is worldwideweb.letscook.com.mm. And if you're not around your TV, you can always watch us at Let's Cook live streaming TV online on your tablet or your mobile device. Yes. So stay tuned. Happy birthday once again, Alita. Thank you for the presents again. Well, I don't know how long those are going to last, <laughs> <laughs> but stay tuned, and we'll see you on the next episode. Let's, Let's cook. cook. I see. I really love angel hair paste. I see. I really love angel hair pasta. Just gotta give it a minute for it to cook. <laughs> In other words, the word al dente is used to describe the pasta, which is cooked to be firm, not not so. Keep going. To the bite. In other words, the word al dente is used to be described, used to describe. In <laughs> one the big one <laughs> and poke it on the. <gasps> oh shit! It's the wrong one.、Mm. Three words, not three words a day. It's three.、Oh. <laughs> you put the whole thing in your mouth. No. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna cut that one out. <laughs> Let's go.